A 180 clapping introduction. We are getting sophisticated here at Atlas Stationers. What is going on? Happy hump day. My name is Brendan. We are coming at you live from Chicago. The very special production here today. We are pulling a few orders live on a Wednesday. Normally we do this on Fridays, but your boy will sense be out of town on his honeymoon. So we're doing it today. Super excited to be here. We got my brother Brian behind the camera. Brian, how the heck you feeling, my man? I am speechless right now. Not sure how to react to that just unbelievable introduction you just put through. You know, I like to stay creative, innovative, and entertaining. That's my motto nowadays. Is that on your resume? That's on my resume. Yeah. So my goodness, skill set. you know, it's so nice to uh, be here on this fine Wednesday. You know, I know yesterday we went live. You, I don't know if you know this, but I went live yesterday for the chatless video. We restocked our traveler's notebook section. Let's actually, let's, let's take a quick walk. No, I didn't know you went live. You know, some of us have to work for a living. Can't just play and hey, have hey, fun all day long. Hey, listen, it's not, a, it's not a job if you enjoy what you do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, check this out. Um, everything that I restocked, I think actually got moved and re-restocked by somebody who knew what they were doing here. <laughs> so this isn't what it looked like when the video ended yesterday? A little bit, a little bit. Oh, okay. But I mean, we got a whole bunch of restocks on everything that yeah, you no, actually we, ordered. Look at all this. Yeah, we got some huge restocks on stationary notebooks, some Uniball pens, I know. Yeah. And some new stuff coming. It's beautiful. That, uh, I, it's we beautiful. just gotta get loaded. Yeah. Yeah, the Japanese stuff always flies in and out. For those of you wondering, Midori, we got a nice restock of this stuff too. But again, as quickly as it comes in, it goes out. So make sure you go to the website, take a look at what you need, cop it while you can, because those are hot. So, okay. So, for those of you who tuned into that video yesterday, I did not put it on YouTube yet. I'm gonna upload that video to YouTube after this live stream. And then this video is going to be scheduled for YouTube for this upcoming Friday. Now, if you want to see Brian go live on his own next week, you need to let us know in the chat or on the live video repost on YouTube because he's kind of hesitant. He doesn't think he can do it without me, but I'm trying to say, yes, you can. We're a very big yes, you can Is that company be the here. the chant, yes, you can? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So we like to enable our, our El Presidente and let him know that he can do it. But I will not be here next week, so that's why this video is going to be for this Friday to kind of replicate that normal order polling schedule on YouTube. And then next week, uh, Brian will hopefully be able to go live, not necessarily for order polling, maybe order packing or something along those lines. But wow. Since we uh, did this on Friday, and now it's only a few days later, uh, we only have a few orders here, so we'll start with this. Uh, unless you want to show the new arrivals. I can't remember what we decided five minutes ago before stream. We did make a decision, and I explained why it was important to make that decision. Yeah, I don't listen, so. And then listen, we completely so. forgot what the yeah. decision was, because I don't remember what we chose either. Well, what should we do? What should we Let's do? Let's do the order polling first. Okay, that's Leave perfect. It in suspense because no one even knows what these items are because they're not even on the website yet. Yeah, love it. So, yeah, love it. Just that... have to hold off just a little bit longer because I know everyone's itching to see what's in there, I'm sure. Perfect. I like that strategy. So, I guess we'll jump right in. We got three here today. Uh, Crystal went ahead and actually packed these really nice TikTok gifts. So, I had somebody comment on one of our YouTube videos asking if the orders that we send out, if everyone gets a gift that they saw on the video, everyone gets a handwritten postcard, but only the ones that we pull on the live stream will get gifts attached with their order. So that's a nice incentive to leave a note at the checkout screen at atlasstationers.com, ask to be pulled during our live videos, and then you'll be able to interact with us as we pull your order and you'll get a nice little gift. So got little mystery bags here which are super nice. Yeah, and before we get going, let's get some comments in here. We've got quite a few people joining. Uh, I've got Jen, hello, wearing my nib shirt today. Love, oh, love it. it. That's awesome. Uh, Tanya giving me some encouragement on doing the live next week. Uh, Grace, my wife is in here, and Maggie is with her yelling dada. So like so said last week, she has replaced Izzy yeah. on the, uh, the live viewing. So we haven't That's lost good. anyone with her going back to school. And, They're keeping uh, our viewing stats high. Much yeah, appreciated. Exactly. So I think we're uh, caught up, ready to go. All right, let's get after it. 
First one we got here is Patty H, order number 196843. No here says, please pull on TikTok live stream. This one's kind of funky and we'll explain why, but it's gonna be for a pen and some notebooks. So we're gonna head over here, grab some notebooks by Claire Fontaine. This one is going to be a wire bound, three and a half by five and a half. Uh, uh, I was I mean, going to say, you're guy. a little off on your dimensions on that first guess there. 8506, check it out. There you go. Well, the first one I officially pulled up was indeed correct. Yeah, there you now go. Now a Claire Fontaine wirebound notebook, French ruled six by three, six and three quarters by eight and three quarters. It's got to be this guy. 8731, yeah, but we're not going to give two reds. We're going to do an orange and a green. So if we look here, this one is just going to be that standard ruled format. And then these ones are gonna be that French ruled. Whoa, that's crazy. That to me screams like prison, like you're locked in with these squares. So if you like that fine writing, maybe you're doing it for calligraphy or super fine notes, that's for you. I like a blank canvas because I don't like being blocked in like that. You know what We've I'm saying? We've all seen how much you like a blank canvas. Yes, it's check much out needed. Some previous videos of yeah. Hollywood's artwork. Yep, yep, in which. I actually, in a recording that we made, which is going out while I'll be out of town, I did actually do a drawing. Oh boy, so, I haven't seen yeah, that Yeah, it's gonna did come not. out, actually it's gonna come out in a few weeks. It, it was for the Twisby Irish Green, but we since sold out. So once we get more, assuming we get more, we'll post that one. And it's got a Hollywood original in there. Wonderful. Super fire. All right, Brian, now we need a Hobonichi, which I actually don't think we've talked about our Hobonichi I was just gonna, display. I was just thinking through that when I saw it on the uh, packing slip there. Yeah. About all the new options. Look at this beautiful on setup. On Hobonichi this year. But the team did an amazing job with this setup in the retail store. There are so many options on notebooks this year. And that's actually what this one is in right here. In the past, I know they've had two sizes, A5, A6. They always come with that yellow cover, graph yeah. paper, I think. Now they've got ruled graph yep. and different, length. Different art and designs. Then they, yes, they've got some special covers. I think the special covers, those are called papers. I can't remember what the yeah, what it actually looks like in there. Look, um, that's, that's me on an ice cream cone. <laughs> wow, resemblance is just uncanny. The special covers, I think they only come in graph. Uh, but there's A5 and A6 on those. Yeah, these were the two usual suspects that we've seen in the past. Yeah, Everything else I think is new. Last year's. They got a good, uh, we got a question here. Yeah. Not about Hobonichi. Asking if we'd ever do a mystery pen pull option, like the mystery ink options. Set a budget and then you pull. Yeah, maybe th that would be way harder to set up. I'm not saying no, we could dangerous. do it. But yeah, the problem with that is the pens are all way different price points, at least with the ink. The like disparity between the lowest price and the highest price is substantially less than the lowest price pen and the most expensive Maybe pen. Maybe we could come up with something where it's like, it yeah. costs $10,000 and we get you $10,000 for the product. That it would be 10,000 pens. It could, could be, be one $10,000 $10, yeah. pen. So yeah. maybe something like that. Yeah. Let us know if you're interested in the $10,000 mystery pen box. Yeah, we'd think have we to could, think that one through. That, we could make that happen. I think the best bet would be like, let's say we did a, like maybe two different tiers, like a $100 box and a $300 box. You're guaranteed a pen that is of higher value or something. I don't know, something like the that. The only thing would, it would have to be like final sale, which oh, would be yeah. a tough thing. So, oh, so yeah. if that's something There's that some risk involved, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's something that interests. Yeah. You know, we pretty much do everything based yeah. on uh, feedback we get. Yeah. from the community. So if that yeah. sounds interesting to anyone else, yeah. throw some uh, comments in the YouTube replay on this. And, and if we get enough feedback on it, I'm sure there's something we can come up with on if it. If anyone is willing to risk it all, you can also send a message to us on Instagram saying you're down to try it out. And I could send you a custom invoice for that price and you would be the first person to test it out. You're so. about to get like, a hundred messages here on vacation and everyone's going to send you these and then they're gonna be like, why haven't you gotten back to me? Yeah. Enough? Well, <laughs> I, two weeks. well, I'm doing it under the expectation that only a few people will. <laughs> so my point being is maybe we'll do like, if somebody wants to try out like a $500 mystery pen box, yeah. then, then it first person to message me, we'll try to do it. Boom. Yeah. Here you go. Mystery Twisby box. You buy a Twisby, get a mystery color. That's a little easier. That's actually a really fun idea. Yeah. That's a really fun idea. So, okay. Yeah, Tanya's saying they can challenge the Discord to pick things out. 
Yeah. So I don't know. I'm sure we can come up with something. I'm glad that you guys have the creative juices flowing. That's what helps us come up with these ideas and then take credit for your idea. No, I'm joking. We never do that. We always like to give credit where it's due. And a lot of the ideas do flow from you, the live audience on our live streams, as well as Discord. So per Tanya is mentioning the Discord, highly suggest you join it. Click the link in bio. Almost about to break 2,000 members. The ideas just flow very rapidly, so great stuff. All right, Patty, you ordered something that we don't have and we haven't really spoken about. So this is a really cool thing. We've been working with Shown Design and Ian, the owner of Shown Design, for the last uh, about year and a half, two years when we kind of opened up some conversation. And then this past May, we actually uh, have worked out a deal to bring in three exclusive pens, two Atlas stationers from Shown Design, and they are due to arrive, I think, relatively soon. Isn't that correct? Yes, uh, maybe the end of this week. So hopefully yeah. we'll get photographed and uh, start shipping them out beginning of next week. And I yep. know we're developing quite a bit of content around the uh, the brand launch as yep. well. Um, yeah. Because it's obviously new to us. Yeah, and we couldn't be more excited because uh, this is something that we really resonate with. We love Ian, his personality, his work, his products are super high quality. He's always packed at pen shows, which is fantastic to see. But we've got three exclusive models coming in and they are technically available for pre-order on our website. Mm -hmm. So if that is of interest, you can check it out. We haven't posted anything yet. Um, we're just waiting for the product to arrive so we can get that content ready to go and officially launch the Shown Design products here at Atlas Stationers. But Patty here did get one in the Pocket 6, the Purple Edition, which is a beautiful model. So feel free to check it out. You can be some of the first people to have a Ian Shown purchase pen here at Atlas Stationers. Boom, perfect. So Patty, we're gonna decide either to hold this or ship this out. So just yeah, so you know. Yeah, we're gonna hold it since you're gonna be here. Okay, that's perfect. So Patty, we're gonna hold this until we get the pen. So just so you're aware. So we got that, and then we've got the goodie bag. Boom, much love. All right, next up we got Dolores A, order number 196853. Please pull my order on TikTok if you are pulling this week. Thanks for all the great products you get for us. Dolores, thanks for the endless love on the channel as always. We had some off-camera magic happen, and we've got the Sage edition from the Lamy All-Star Collection. This is brand new, nice transparent grip section, a medium nib on this bad boy. We got the black PVD coated nib, as well as hardware right here on the clip. This one's gonna be about $37. A lot of different color options available, so great stuff. Yeah, I know we talked about it on the live last week about the off-schedule Lamy release here, getting some extra special editions for 2024, because this was quite a surprise. This oh, agreed. And the the uh, Pink Autumn, both have just been doing fantastic. Yeah, I really enjoy the, the pastel-like color options. Okay, so now we've got some creative journaling supplies from Cora Crea Crafts, as well as some inks. So the first item we're gonna be looking for is the sticker box, the fossils, which we've got right here. And then we have the dinosaurs holographic sticker and vellum paper. Let's see if I know what a dinosaur looks like. This could be challenging. That's a dragon. Those are birds. This is dinosaur. So this is going to be a pack of a whole bunch of different paper designs. What I'm these actually are... impressed that you picked that up. Yeah, it looks that like doesn't a... look like a dinosaur. I know that it looks, looks more like a, a whale shark mixed with a yeah alligator. Yeah, hey, well, what can I say? I was the one who added these, so <laughs> I had a little little insider information. But this stuff is great for if you're setting up a journal and you want to maybe cut the paper up and uh, use the stickers and tape it into your journal. It just helps give you some more creativity on the paper and create a journal spread is what it's officially called. So this stuff's super cool. We have a whole bunch of it, obviously. Also, we got a huge, huge restock of some new, uh, what, stick? Uh, pip stick. Pip stickers, yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, pip sticker, washi tape here, that's a handful to say. MT washi tape, I mean, this wall is just popping off. Look at all that, super delicious, oh my goodness. Okay, boom, so we got that right there. Let's head over here, we need our exclusive Alchemy Twilight Dream ink. We love showing this bottle off every time we come over here. 
This has been doing really well for us, this entire line. I'm really happy with how these inks have turned out and how the community's received this new ink line from Endless. So really happy with that. This is the Twilight Dream. You can only find this here at Atlas. And let's pivot over here to the Lennon Toolbar section. The orange, or the bitter orange tea. Check that out. It's almost fall, you guys. I think uh, autumn. I think it is fall. I think autumn officially starts September twenty second. Depends on how you calculate it. They always say here in Chicago that fall, meteorological fall, starts September first. Oh, I always. So I think that's how they always say. I it looked here. it up, and, and I think it's, it's the twenty second. It is like the something like that. Like the solar seasons, I think. Yeah. It's always like the 21st or 22nd or whatever. Well, fall is officially starts, it starts when football begins. When the NFL yeah. begins, that's when fall starts. So we are in fall. Go Bears, baby. All right, there we go. Dolores, thank you so much for the love. There's your little goodie bag. We are all set. Stay smooth. Pew. All right, that's it for my orders. Brian's got one order here with something very special from someone very special that we're gonna switch the cameras for. It's nice how the tables have turned for this specific scenario, so why don't I take that? And why don't you explain what is going on here, my guy? Well, easy enough, I get to read a comment here. So I've got an order for Tanya196932. Please ask El Presidente to pull on TikTok. He always gets away with the easy orders and avoids washi tape. Practice makes progress. I believe in him. Yeah, yeah you know, it's kind of planned because occasionally when we do have to pull things and switch off, I make sure to rearrange them a little bit so that uh, I know exactly what I'm going for. There's no way, did you? Uh, that's happened quite a few times. Did you times. do it on this one? Well, no, not this one. Oh, okay. oh, no, I'm not talking about the product. I'm talking about I give you the hard orders. Oh, so, oh okay, I was yeah. about to say. This you... one, I didn't know about this until we got out here. Oh, okay, so fantastic. So I had no idea. Okay, um, that's good. I'm glad that you didn't spoil it because no. I was about to say, no, no, you know, no. that would be oh, wait, no here. challenge. Maybe is it these five that I'm Yeah, pulling? wow, all five of them right there in that yeah. corner. So okay. let's do the non-washi tapes first because we got quite a few washi tapes on here. Yeah, he's first, scared of the washi tapes. Yeah, so maybe the, the, the stream will, you know, black out or something for a minute. <laughs> um, Disconnect. <laughs> yeah, so first item, we've got the Majori MD Notebook Diary, the A6 size for 2020. Wow, Five. conveniently right behind wow, him. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, question is make sure I grab the right one here. Look at that. So we do have all of our Midori dated MD products uh, for 2025 up and shipping. We do have some other planners that are getting loaded probably the end of this week uh, that should be, I'm trying to think we have Midori. We also have a few other brands that should be going up here by the end of the week. To go along with this, we have a clear A6 cover that we gotta grab. My camera work is so dope right now. Is it? I see yeah. you going up and down. Yeah. So, very impressed. So we've got the MD clear cover that should fit right over this. Make sure we got the right one. And we're actually doing two of those. Oh, Tanya just mentioned, so luckily you caught that. that I she would not have up. been happy. No. So, got that. And then we're gonna head back here. We'll show off the one item that was pre-pulled. I did not request this to have it pre-pulled. I can also tell you I would not have found this. But we have the Karen Dosh Paul Smith 849 Special Edition. Yeah. Let's pull this out, take a look at it. That's nice, very nice. I think this was part of five color set. Yep. Yep. I have to see if we still have any available. There might be a couple styles still ready. So real quickly, yeah. Brian is correct. On some of these items, we have our team pull ahead of time to make sure we don't oversell. It's usually like if it's the last pen or if it's an item like a Lamy Safari or All-Star that it just takes us a while to box it up and stuff on stream. It, yeah, that so, Waco, things that yeah. are handled a little differently. Yeah, um, so off, that was off camera only magic. That one that was done off camera. Sure, I can bro, assure you. sure. The other ones, so we're on to washi tape and stickers. So we've got one sticker, the Precious Unicorn sticker. So that one we'll do first. Let's see. Unicorns, unicorns, unicorns. Not there. There's a How huge the unicorn. How the tables have turned. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is this it? Let's get an Look item at, number check. Look at that. 
Perfect. Unicorn. Why do I feel like stickers? Tanya's ordered a lot of unicorn stuff? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe Pip dinosaurs? stickers. Was there dinosaurs on? Yeah, maybe Pip the stickers in too? general, not unicorns. Okay. So th this these could be tough. These Pip stick ones. I'm assuming these are Pip sticks. First one up is party time washi tape. Oh, party time. So that I don't slaps. know if I'm looking for something that says party time. Was this done in collaboration with Diamine? Yeah, this is a Diamine Pip sticker special. All right. I feel like it's got to say party time on it, right? This is embarrassing. This is taking longer than oh, five seconds. Oh, boy. <laughs> this one's challenging. I don't even know what it looks like. I mean, it's not the unicorn one, is it? Oh, man. I think I'm going to be uh, having to just look at every single one of these. Paint splatter. No, nope, no paint splatter. What's this one? Have your cake. No. Nope. Brian's minds, wow. his, his, his gears know. are turning right now. I want to know. We Tanya. got a hint here from Tanya. She how said long, dots. Tanya, how long did it take you to pick these out? Hopefully a lot longer than what I'm spending doing right now. Oh, man. This is uh If you need pretty, the pro to help, just call me I in. I might need some help because I have no idea what I'm looking at. Petrified Pathway. I'm looking for any of the ones that look blue. That's what's on the, uh, the picture here. I actually took some tapes out of my cart. That's what Tanya said, doing you a solid. Thank you. This is already hard enough. After the rain, no. Yeah, do you know which one party time is? No, but let me look at the pick ticket. It's like blue. We also got okay. Airbrush Ombre. Oh, oh no, it's Ombre. Oh, I got one. Ombre Dreams. What's this one? Airbrush, I got two. Dang, he just needed some pressure from me. Yeah. These uh, ones I feel like I can find. I just don't know what party time is. I mean, this looks like party time, right? Oh, that's magic touch. No, bro, that looks like magic touch, not party oh, time. Sorry. <laughs> Um, hmm. You already got the airbrush, ombre? Yeah, I got the other two. Sweet I just... cereal and milk. Show me about it. This is a cool one. Some chickens hatching. Yeah, I don't know where party time is. Maybe it's this one? No, that's petrified. I, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Maybe it's this one. I'm convinced hmm. that we might have these somewhere else. Wait. That's always the answer, right? This is Wonderlust Washi. Mm. You know what? Can I don't I think you heard the hint. Yeah, dots, bro, dots. It's it's blue dots. Blue dots? Wait, which one do we need? Party time. And what else? That's it. And we got to do the, I got the MT ones next. Blue dots. That's sweet cereal. I think you already did that one. I, I wonder that. if there, there's nothing with blue dots out here. There's green dots. Oh yeah, this is crazy. This might be a setup. <laughs> she, I'm she, I'm convinced. she somehow added an item that's not on our website. <laughs> yes. Or she's in cahoots with us. Is it Pip stickers or is it? It's got to be, right? Oh yeah, that's Pip stickers. Yeah. All right. We're we'll just right. gonna skip that one for now. We'll come back to it. Oh, that's crazy. He gave up. Well, we're coming purple back. and pink and blue to our right. No, that's frosting something. We're doing a good job of uh, showcasing the entire line here. Dizzy Daydreams. I already looked at this one, didn't I? Petrified Pathway. Why don't we just look up a picture? Yeah, it might be a good, good call. <laughs> Instead of spending 10 more Sta minutes. Stained Glass. Yeah, I don't know which one. Which one is your talking? Which one are you talking about, Tanya? It kind of looks like. Let me see. Oh, okay. I don't think we have that one here. It's not out here. So yeah. we will. Maybe it's in uh, back. Maybe it's in back. We'll go find that one. Yeah. All right. Way to go, Tanya. We love to see it. Great pick. I mean, great yeah. selection. It was fantastic. That was great. All right. We got a couple more empty washi tapes here. Let's see if I've got better luck on these. Wow. Look at We're going to title one. this. We're gonna title this, Brian can't pull washi tapes. Yeah, I think that's fair. 
That is fair. I got one more. This. Rocky. If this video gets a trillion likes, we'll give away a $10,000 pen. Would that be the, the most viewed? The most TikTok like TikTok of by, all time. Yeah, like every single TikTok view combined. No, not even views. I'm talking about a trillion likes. Oh, sorry. It's got to go even more Which than is that. doable. You guys better start getting tapping. Yeah. Let's see. Where's this one? If this video gets a trillion views, I'll give away two $10,000 This pens. is uh, putting things into perspective. I might have to be a little easier yeah, on you. Yeah, you need to humble up, bro. Moving forward. Tanya, this is great. It's really nice being on this side. Yeah. Maybe it's this one? Uh, I got it. That wasn't too bad. So we got to go find one more in the back, the party time washi tape. But we do have everything else for you if you want to show off. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Nice order, Tanya. Let's go look in the back real fast. Where would we look? Uh, let's just go look at the, uh, the hold shelf. Yeah, let's see. Sometimes there's like stuff just hidden back here. Just hanging out. Yeah, there's like our back stock bins and stuff. Our go back bin. Mm, okay, Tanya, we uh, are gonna have to look for it. If we don't have it, we'll have to holler at you. Okay, all good. Oops, sorry. All right, is that, does that do it for her order? That does it for Tanya's order. That does it for the three orders. So let's uh, flip it back and uh, we'll showcase the, the next segment Selfie. Here. All right, ready? Not selfie. <laughs> All right, so we have a beautiful presentation on this cart here today. Since we didn't have too many orders to pull, we wanted to put an emphasis on new products that just arrived. Now, some of these, in fact, most of these are not on our website yet, but we are going to work on getting them up today, tomorrow, this week. We wanted to give you, the audience, a sneak preview of what is going on here with some of these new releases. I think what we'll do is we'll switch off series. So I will start with... You're gonna talk about them? Yeah, so I'll start okay. with these guys. The, okay. So these are the new Montegrappa Tarvisiums, and my goodness, they are beautiful. There's three colorways here, and they are all filled with just insane amount of shimmers, swirls, color variations. These are beautiful. So. If you're interested, I think these are around three hundred dollars. Isn't that correct? They're, they list for three seventy-five. Yeah. They're going to be three thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven. After uh, a ten percent discount. So for a Monte Grappa, which is a really premium Italian brand, yeah, it's kind of unheard of to get this much bang for your buck. Yeah. You're getting craft material with the, the Monte Grappa nibs. Craft material, Monte pretty Grappa sure. Craftsmanship. Yeah, pretty sure made in the US too. Yeah, so these are, I think these are by Turnt Penko. Yeah, check that out. These are lovely. Who we actually created the resin for last year's Atlas exclusives from Monte Grappa. These are beautiful. So are these on the site? I think you mentioned these ones might be on the site. So we've got them on the website. I loaded them a couple minutes before we went live. We're getting the photography done now in the studio. Yeah. And then we'll get, uh, they should get added by the end of the day here. This one's gonna be the best seller. So they, yeah. So they've got, they come in five nip sizes, extra fine through broad. Right now we should have everything in stock as they are brand new. Converter included as well. Yes, and Beautiful. steel nibs. Okay, well, you chimed in a lot more on that because I didn't know what I was talking about, so let me take the next one. Let me take okay. the next one. I'll probably chime in on that as well, depending on which one you go for. Okay. Because there's some stuff that, to talk about. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay. This is the brand new Conklin Endura Deco Crest with a turquoise skeleton and a demonstrator uh, underneath with rose gold hardware. So this is a super, super nice pen. Uh, the filigree design on here is fantastic. This has been one of the best selling Conklin pens in recent times, at least for us. If you recall, they came out with the three colorways for the original series, the silver and black, the orange and blue, 
And then the rose gold and blue. The yeah, light was blue. that about a year and a half ago, two years ago maybe? Yep, and yeah. so these are about $100 and you get the number six Yovo nib stamped with Conklin on there. Plus you have just a beautiful, beautiful aesthetic. Then when you open it, whoa, you see that? That was crazy. And then it is a cartridge converter system, much like the Monte Grappas, uh, in which it'll take a standard international converter. All included. Yep, and then what I really like about this piece is that the cap does thread on the back and it aligns with the nib. So I love a good alignment. That way when I'm writing, everything just looks exactly where it's supposed to be. And yeah, this is a great value of, for this particular pen. I actually think it's one of the best values in the shop, to be quite honest. So this one's available, ballpoint, roller, and fountain. Yep, and once again, getting loaded later today. Tanya calling you Butterfingers. That might have to be the next sticker. Hollywood Butterfingers. I'd like to see that uh, captured. Hollywood dropping a pen? Yeah. Would make for good content. Now moving on to another extremely classic series from Conklin. This was a series endorsed by Mark Twain and it's the Crescent Filler Collection. We see three new colorways. This is gonna be a mix of like an opaque and transparent material, very geometric. I don't know the names of these off the top of my head, but you'll see we've got like an orange and black with gunmetal hardware, a purple and kind of a, a black and, actually they're all kind of frosted in some some areas, but a purple and black with rose gold, and then a turquoise and black with silver trim. Yeah, and the names, we can get them for you. Purple Fusion. Orange, Orange medley, medley. And blue array, wow, super nice names. But if you're not familiar with these, these are pens that take an internal filling system. It's a crescent filling mechanism. So basically you have a, a knock right here that has a little indentation. So you need to align it with the crescent and then you push down and it's actually a bladder system that then fills up with ink. So basically, here's your ink well, submerge the entire nib and then start pumping the crescent filler. When you're done, twist it to either way. That way the knock is blocking the pump system so you can't accidentally uh, push ink out or draw pressure up. So super fun. Uh, this has been a company that's been around since the 1800s and Mark Twain did endorse the brand. So I think that's a huge uh, inspiration to the Mark Twain Crescent Filler, which is super fun. Yep. Yeah, you actually see a little bit of the assembly process, what's happening internally. But these, I want to say what, like 150? I'm guessing, yeah, I, I think they're the sub, pricing on they're them, sub 200. what they are. So it's for such a unique filling system. Yeah. A pretty valuable price point. Okay, and then next up, we have another new Lamy. I can't believe everything that's being released. So this might be the fifth Lamy Safari special edition this year. Uh, two in the spring, two in the summer, and this one. I think this is the fifth one. I thought the, the spring, I thought there's only been two spring, the pina colada and the strawberry one. Um, Am I missing something? No, I thought those ones, yes. Let's go take a look. Let's go I take feel a look. like I'm, and this, I'm just way off. I think you're confusing it with the four All-Stars that came out. Maybe. But let's take a look, because I'm pretty sure that there's only been two releases this oh, year for the Safari. Then it's three. Then I'm maybe Yeah, I'm and, then, and then this year they did the Fire and the Aquatic, and then they did the, oh, you know what? Maybe the Cliff and the Blackberry. Yes, those were first, and then Pina Colada. There you go. Yeah, those just came out in the summer. Okay, well, perfect. Now that we're up here, let me actually pull a few out. So yeah, this is the fifth one. There's been five safaris and four all-stars, which is honestly a little crazy. I'm gonna to need a, an apology on that for questioning you, El Presidente. You definitely deserve one. Yeah. I am <laughs> so sorry. Thank you. It uh, really sounded like it came from the heart. It definitely did. All right, so yeah, steel is the new. So we're gonna put the steel on the left. And I wanted to compare it to these two here. So, so I think it's supposed to be like a black, but it almost has like a Purple tint to it. It's kind of it? like these two combined, actually. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the alignment when you see it next to others. I had a feeling some people from photos that you might see online would not be able to tell much of a difference between the steel black and the charcoal right here. So I wanted to give that visual. But yeah. these are twenty nine dollars and sixty cents. The usual nib sizes. Great pen. Great entry level pen as well. I mean, these things are amongst some of the most sold pens in the world. ABS plastic, same plastic as Legos, and just overall a really popular model. So. I wonder how many safaris have been sold worldwide. Oh, dude. You gotta be able to figure that out, right? 
millions. I'd honestly say millions. I mean, they're probably pumping out these at such an incredible rate with how efficient their factories are. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, there we go. So that one's brand new. And then... And again, all these should be getting added, hopefully today. They're all getting photographed and uh, we'll work on getting all the content added after the live video here. So we have two left. So they also have released a new Lamy Studio with a matte red finish. Beautiful design. This is their middle tier price point. The fountain pens here are about uh, $80 down from 100. They retail at 100, on sale for $80. It's more cylindrical shaped and then they're widely known and recognizable by their propelling clip. So the propeller clip starts flat and then kind of transitions to thinner on that side. Really nice. Yeah, Studio's actually been maybe my favorite or one of my favorite pens since we expanded six, seven yeah. years ago. I think you own the one. Studio was my first fountain pen. Yeah, you own an Imperial Blue one, I'm yes, pretty sure. I sure do. So that one's really nice. And then as we pivot to an even more expensive model, this is the Lamy Scala. Not as widely known, but still a beautiful piece. This is like a piano red. And if you look closely, there's a little bit of uh, iridescent or maybe more shimmering like look to the aesthetic. So this one has got flat tops, definitely cylindrical with the flat tops and then a nice rectangular clip all the way down. Uh, and then the Lamy logo right there on the side. This is a pull cap. It does post, in case you were wondering, and it does come with the 14 karat gold nib from Lamy. Just beautiful dual tone nib action right there. Both yeah. of these will come with the converter as well. And just like the Safari, the Studio, the All Star, the nib on that Scala can be replaced. Yep. Uh, so you can switch them out very easily. You could technically put this gold Scala nib on this steel black Safari. Yeah. So that's definitely a possibility. Yeah. But yeah. Good comment. I love the flush seal of the cap and the pen body. I think we're talking about it on the studio. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love both of these pens. Yeah. So for those of you not familiar with Lamy, they are all manufactured in Germany and they take a Bauhaus inspired uh, theme with their designs. So super fun and great brand all around. But Woof, lots of new stuff as we spoke about earlier. These are hopefully gonna be uploaded within the next few days as we get the content and the photos all taken care of. Then you'll, shortly st you'll start shortly seeing them on our social media platforms as we kind of announce the launch. But as always, TikTok heard it first. Yeah. Anything else you wanna say or are we? I think uh, I just wanna go through the new arrivals that okay. uh, I think we hit most of them last week. We talked last week about our exclusive Edison Collier. Yep. Featuring the primary manipulation. We showed that off. It's selling very quickly. Uh, not too many of those left. We did get Ferris Wheel Press. I don't, did we show that last week? No, we did not. So there's a whole bunch of new ink. Every month, Ferris Wheel Press has a new launch with at least two colors of ink and then usually a couple pens. Check out the new arrival section on our website. If you're interested in collecting any of the Ferris Wheel Press items, they always have killer ink great colors it kind of blows our mind with just the creativity behind the brand mm -hmm. and how they just have this endless uh runway of uh, pipeline of colors new colors and shimmers. new ideas yeah it's it's really fun to see so that's it, about it the other stuff we talked about last week irish greens already sold out yeah uh, a number of the narwhal eclipse pens are sold out we're working on getting some more of those but i think it's going to be another month or two mm -hmm. and then we've been kind of hinting at it um, the last two videos that we do have quite a bit of stationery in the back that's just waiting to get a lot added of stationery and yeah a lot added a ton and, of stuff uh, photograph so some new stuff coming to so be on the lookout for that and I think that that is about it on coming soon new arrivals the only other announcement I have is uh, for anyone that pre-ordered the Pilot Vanishing Point 2025 or 2024 Special Edition, uh -huh. they are uh, supposed to be shipping early next week. So we should be getting those out the door uh, sometime next week. We did pre-sell out of our initial allocation within like a week, um, but we're, I know we're working on getting some more. So hopefully we'll have some yep. at launch. Yeah, a few more should hopefully be available. All right. You guys, I am sad to relay that this is gonna be the last Stay Smooth piece, a live Stay Smooth piece. 
until two weeks. Before you're exposed to European culture? Yeah, before Wonder I never come back. what you're going to be like when you come back. I'm going to speak Will you still be Greek. Hollywood? Will, okay. Yeah. You're just going to learn the language and assimilate all I'm going to come back and days. figure out what Hollywood, how you say it in Greek. But yes, we have some pre-recorded videos, so we have enough content to be put out. You'll see me just pre-recorded. So we want to make sure that you still get your daily dose of, of Hollywood. But yes, until next time, you guys, this is the official Stay Smooth. Peace. See you in two weeks.